All right, so let's say you're having one of those days, you know, like one of those Mondays, and you're just mm, feeling a little blue. Why not make a batch, a big batch of beer cheese soup? That'll do it. Everything will be better after this. This is a recipe that is kind of my go-to recipe. It's usually uh, I have a lot of this stuff on hand in my fridge anyway, and it's like, hmm, what should I make? What's that kind of fall comfort food? Beer cheese soup. And there's nothing better. And this makes a nice big batch. So we're starting out with a stick of butter. Just have to play a little extra tennis this week. Yeah, this is not low fat, low cal, but it is absolutely fantastic. So one stick of butter, and I just want to melt that. Started reading, really getting into the new book club book that we're reading. Um, hopefully you are going to read along with us and go get the book because it is fantastic. Starts out, it's one of those books that just starts out within the first, you know, paragraph or two, you are hooked, and I love books like that. This one does not take long to get into at all. It's called The Light Between Oceans, and we're uh, meeting at La Java in Suamico, December 5th. So hopefully you'll join us, 5.30. They provide the snacks. You just come with uh, great discussion points. No, just come. We just wing it. And um, you can get your coffee there, and they have wonderful coffee. So hopefully you'll join us then. All right, so I just added a little bit of onion, about one cup of finely diced onion to my butter. And I'm also going to add a cup of finely diced carrot. And I just want that to get going a little bit. I'm going to chop some celery. We have lots of stuff to talk about today. One is I know it was a gorgeous fall weekend, but um, I hope you remembered, and if you didn't, I'm going to give you the assignment this week to do it. We are looking for your very best Thanksgiving recipes. It's our ultimate Thanksgiving contest. We do it every year, and it's just a blast. And we're looking for recipes in four different categories, and then we go through all the recipes, and we put two of the best in each category, and you get to come on the show and cook with us, and there are all sorts of great prizes. Contest is sponsored by The Wire Whisk, and the categories we're looking for are side dish, so if you have a really good side dish casserole, maybe you do a broccoli cheese casserole that just everyone goes crazy over, or maybe you do stuffed acorn squash, so maybe you do really great appetizers. So the first category is the side dish. The second category is the main course, Maybe you have a super duper way that you do your turkey that keeps it really moist, or maybe you smoke the turkey or barbecue it. Maybe you do something other than turkey. Maybe you do Cornish game hen or ham or prime rib or beef tenderloin. So we want your best main course recipes, your best stuffing recipes, and then last but not least, your best Thanksgiving dessert recipes from cupcakes to pies to torts, you name it. We're looking for fun, different, unusual uh, Thanksgiving recipes. Everybody who just enters the contest, if you go online to enter, uh, you are eligible. We're giving away a, a $2,000 dining room set from Van Breedy's. So get us your recipes, go enter the contest, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. We'll be cooking up those recipes in just a few weeks on the show. And it just gives you some new fun ideas for Thanksgiving to kind of change up the menu. All right, I added my celery. So I've got the onions, celery, and the carrot. and I'm going to season this, and it's so important when you're doing soups to season as you go. So season it with some salt and pepper. If you just throw some salt and pepper in at the very last, it just doesn't do it. Yeah, that would be a good one. Ann just said, have you ever heard of a traducan? And we... If you do a traducan, hey, we'd love to have you come on the show and do it. That's when they take a turkey and they stuff it with duck and they stuff it with chicken. And when you cut it, you basically get turkey, duck, and chicken. That would be a really cool one. Never done one of those before, but... Yeah, they, they take the bones out of it, too. Yeah, it's a, a really a neat thing to do. So I'm just waiting for my vegetables to cook just a minute or so. I just want them to get a little bit tender.
did so much laundry yesterday that I am like totally caught up. I mean, I was like the laundry queen. And then, of course, I'll come home today and there'll be more. It never ends. But I was feeling so good yesterday. I, during the game, I was doing laundry back and forth and cleaning the house. And I was like, yes, the laundry is done. And yeah, yeah, yeah. for an hour. <laughs> everybody's. It's when everybody's laundry. I'm adding some flour. And this is what's going to thicken the soup. Now, when you add the flour, it's really important. to cook it for a few minutes. And that's going to cook that flour taste out of it. Quarter of a cup of flour. Just keep it stirring. All right, it's time to start adding the rest of the ingredients. Now it's beer cheese soup, so we got to add some beer. We're using uh, Thunder River beer, which is one of those craft beers. They sell it at festival, and it's fantastic. That any kind of beer would do. One bottle. And when you're adding liquids, you really got to get your whisk out here and get busy. We're adding chicken stock or vegetable stock. You want to keep it vegetarian. You whisk as you go, whisk as you add here. And now we're going to add some milk. And we'll finish it with some heavy cream. We love our Lamer's Dairy Milk in the glass bottle made locally and just fresh and wonderful. So we're going to add Milk, and we'll finish it with some heavy cream. And one of the keys to making beer cheese soup is pull that cheese out of the refrigerator and let it get a little bit room temperature. We don't want it to be real cold, cold. And then when we get to the point, which we're not there now, we're going to add that cheese very, very gradually, a handful at a time. That's so important when it comes to making, um, uh, you know, when you're making some sort of a cheese sauce, or in this case, a cheese soup. Rather than dump it all in there, uh, sometimes when you do that, it, it can separate. And we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to add it very, very gradually. And we want this to come to a boil and thicken a little bit, so we're not quite there yet. We'll be there any second. We have another big night out coming up. We're real excited about it. We're actually headed to a French restaurant in the Green Bay area. Um, boy, if you went to our last big night out in Manitowoc, and everybody who came knows what a great time it was. We were at the club in Manitowoc last week, and it was so much fun. Um, it was packed, too. And what we do is once a month, we go to a different restaurant, an area restaurant, and they pull out all the stops. And it's just a great way to try a restaurant you might not have ever tried before. Um, and so it, it's several courses, all paired with wines. And this uh, next one we're going to is in Dupier. And as I said, it's a, it's a new French restaurant, so I'm really excited about it. If you go to our website, we've got more information on it. Just go to fox11online.com, click on the Living tab, and then Big Night Out will be right there. So we hope to see you then. We're headed there uh, in December, uh, and uh, the first week of December. So start talking about it uh, with your friends, your coworkers. Come alone. It's a great opportunity to meet people, and it's always a great, great time. So that should be a really fun one. All right, so this is just about here. And now we're going to start gradually adding our cheese. A couple other things I want to add. Uh, a little bit of hot sauce. This is not going to be spicy. It's just with all this milk going on um, and the cheese, it's just going to give it some great flavor. Also going to add some dry mustard. And again, I think adding a little bit of dry mustard sometimes when you're making mac and cheese, same type of deal where it's just going to give it some great flavor. I've also got some garlic. Give that a rough chop.
Get the garlic in here, and now we're starting to boil. And we're going to start adding our cheese a handful at a time. You can see how that's starting to thicken up a little bit. And I've got some extra milk and my cream that I'm going to add to finish. So basically, we'll add a little bit, and this is shredded, sharp cheddar cheese. Whisk it in. Now we're going to add some more. It's about six to eight cups of cheese. I also like to leave a little bit just to garnish the top of the bowl. This soup does make everything better, let me tell you. And it's really easy. More of the cheese in there. I know, doesn't it smell good? If it gets too thick, we can add some more milk. One more handful of cheese and we'll save the rest to garnish the top. All right, we're about ready. Now we're just going to finish this with a little bit of heavy cream. Again, we're using our Lamer's heavy cream, which we love. It's so thick and rich and makes everything better. That's a great way to finish soups, just a little bit of heavy cream at the end. This gives it great, you know, makes it silk and and you know, silky and smooth and just great mouthfeel. All right, ready to ladle some of this up? Anne's like, I want a bowl of that. I know, I'm with you, I do too. The soup is really fun to serve with some croutons or even uh, nice crusty French bread or sometimes I'll serve it with uh, some popcorn on top too. There you go, creamy, wonderful beer cheese soup that we whipped up in less than 15 minutes, and you can do it too.